So in this video we are going to make a cube but not with a mesh basic material rather a shader material. So before starting the video I would just like to say that this video is not an introduction to shaders. It is just an implementation of a very simple shader in 3.js kind of like the hello world of shaders. If you need a more detailed explanation of shaders please leave a comment below. Right, so I have a project ready where um, I have created a simple scene where there's a cube and this is what it looks like. Nothing fancy, just a blue cube and um, just, you know, orbit controls to control the cube and just rotate the cube. So once you have this basic scene ready, you can go over here and create a new folder called shaders. And this is where we'll store all our shaders all right so in this case we'll have two shaders called fragment shader dot glsl dot js and another one called vertex shader dot glsl dot js okay now if you go back to index dot js what I want you to notice over here is um, when you're creating your mesh you pass in the geometry and the material right now in this case what we'll do is we'll create a new material called custom shader material all right three dot shader material now what we are going to do is now simply we'll use this shader material on our cube mesh rather than using this material all right so let's change it to custom shader material and right now if you go back to your browser this is what you'll see a red cube let's say if we want to change the color of this cube using shaders rather than just changing the color over here with a material so rather than using a mesh basic material we'll be using a shader material to customize the look of our cube so what we are going to do over here is that we'll pass the fragment shader and the vertex shader over here. But before we pass this um, fragment shader and the vertex shader over here, what we are going to do first is uh, go over to vertex shader. So all shaders have a main function. And in this case, since we are in the vertex shader, it has something called GL position equal to projection matrix into model view matrix into VEC4. Okay, so we have the main function done now what I'm going to do is export this into a variable so I'll create a variable called vertex shader and use two backticks and bring this whole thing inside here just like that all right and then export this as vertex shader there you go Okay, so now what we can do is we can use this um, piece of code over here in index.js. And how I'm going to do that is by just importing a vertex shader. So I'm just going to call it V shader from my shaders and vertex shader.glsl.js. All right. Similarly, for fragment shader I am going to create a variable called fragment shader backpicks and then a void main so in the fragment shader we will have gl frag color equals vec4 0 0.0, 0 0.0, 1.0, 1.0. So basically this, what this means is, um, so 
this whole thing is RGBA. So if this is red, green, blue, and this one is alpha channel. Okay. So what I mean to say over here is that my frag color should be uh, blue. All right. So all the vertices of my shader or of my geometry will have the color blue. Okay. And now I'm just going to export this like that. Oh, right. Done. And now if I go to index.js and then again, you know, import that. So I'll just I'll just call it uh, F shader from uh, shaders fragment shader dot GLSL dot uh, JS. All right. And now we are going to um, use those uh, those two pieces of code. So how we are going to do is um, if you go back to your browser, it still looks the same. Nothing has changed because again, we have defined the fragment shader and the vertex shader, but we are not yet using it. So what I'm going to do over here is that I'm just going to call this vertex shader property in a shader material and then set it to V shader. And similarly for fragment shader, I'm going to set that to F shader. All right. And now uh, if I jump back, you'll see a blue cube. So if you want to change the color of the cube, you can change it directly from here. So if you if you put 0 0.5 and 1.0, that means it's giving you a mix of green and blue. And this is what it looks like because there's a lot of blue, but uh, very less of green. So let's see if I pump this up to 0 0.8 and you can see like the, the it just changes a bit, right? All right. So that's basically a very basic simple shader that we used to create a cube and um, use without using mesh basic material All right so before we move on to something more complicated i just wanted to give you a better explanation of uh, vertex shader and fragment shader over here so this is the official shader material documentation from 3.js and uh, if you go over here so what they are doing over here is basically the same thing. In our case, we are not using uniforms for now, but we will be using uniforms a little later. But uh, over here, this part is just a string. All right. Because if you see uh, this vertex shader and fragment shader uh, and come down over here, when we are creating a shader material, the constructor takes in parameters and those parameters can be uh, any property that is you know inherited from material if you go down you'll see fragment shader which is basically a string and this is the actual code for the shader which is actually written in glsl and glsl is a different programming language so as you can see this is just a string right and the vertex shader is also a string right so in our case what we have done is we have just used string literals and exported that so this is my string and I've just exported that into a variable which is accessible throughout the project. All right. Another thing that you want to make sure is that whenever you're writing uh, a shader, so this whole thing is basically in GLSL programming language. Even though I have just made it as a string over here, we have to make sure that the syntax is completely correct. Now, if I change this to GL position and you know replace that capital P with small p the browser is going to go crazy and we if we open this with live server uh, do control shift and I that's basically the inspector window you see the error over here it says uh, must have a compiled vertex shader so basically what they're saying is like it has some uh, problem with the vertex shader and that's obviously because a GL position is an undeclared identifier. And what you have to do is just go over to vertex shader and just replace that with capital P. So make sure whatever I'm writing over here, you make you write that exact same thing. Projection matrix, model view matrix, and position. These are variables that are already available uh, in when you are using 3.js. All right. Now, what are these 
three variables and what they are doing is a much longer discussion which i feel that is outside the scope of for this video uh, that's why i'm not jumping into all that for now um, but if you want that in much more details surely i can make a different video altogether where i cover the theory of shaders so hopefully this video was useful if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button and for me to continue making such content please hit the subscribe button if you have any questions feel free to drop them down in the comments below thanks for watching this video bye bye